Well, we are, as I promised, at the Lowry Pueblo ruins here. And uh, it does turn out that the Canyon of the Ancients is a national monument. Um, for some reason, I didn't think it was, but it is a national monument. And it has got incredibly windy and icy cold. Yeah, it's colder now than it was when we got up this morning. So, not, doesn't seem normal this year. I mean, this is early May, but uh, just seems uh, colder than normal. Absolutely gorgeous. It was, a, it was a long drive. It was about 34 miles from uh, the other uh, site. We were at the Cajon uh, Pueblo site or Cajon Ruins. It was just like 40 miles an hour or 35 miles an hour all the way. So all right, let's take a look at the ruins. All right, so I'm going to come up back up to these ruins and they have some here that are covered. But I'm going to go this way. Yeah. I'm going to move this in and you can stop and read it if you'd like. One of the reasons I wanted to go this way first is because they have a great kiva here. So those kivas, I don't know if we've talked about them before in videos, but they were primarily ceremonial and religious spaces and generally dug into the ground. Here we come up to the kiva. So again, Feel free to stop and read this. I'm gonna come in closer here on the words. I just wanted you to see the sign first. So yeah, the interesting thing, and I'll show you here and again in a second, was I had never seen a kiva with these types of forms in the center. And they were almost like people. Yeah, so the winter and the summer people were the forms. Now, back in the day, in the early days of drones, you were not restricted on flying here. So I'm going to check my archives from about 2015 or 2014, something like that and see if I can find the photographs I have of this kiva from a drone. I always thought these forms were really strange. And like I said, I've seen a lot of kivas and I had never seen this before. I'm pretty sure this would have been the way in for like the medicine man and such. They would have like secret passages so they could just kind of appear out of the smoke or something. We are possibly going to stop at one other great kiva on this trip. Uh, one that I just fell in love with, but uh, we'll see. All right, so while I'm walking to the next uh, part, back to the main area, and I hope you guys can hear me. It is really windy. But anyway, so we're camping in Hoban Week Campground, right? And these people pull in. This guy gets out, and he's kind of, you know, talkative. He's walked up to the people next to us, kind of napping. He walked up to the people next to talk to us. And then when I was awake, he came over and started talking. Ended up that, you know, he asked, I, they were from California. I said, I grew up in California. He asked me where. I told him he grew up in a neighboring city, but he mentioned a, this, uh, the city I went to high school in. And I said, oh yeah, I went to X, you know, such and such a high school. And he goes, my God, what year? And I said, 68. And he goes, oops, I told you how old I am. Anyway, he goes, I was a year ahead of you. And he gives me his wife's name. You remember the name? I said, the name's familiar. He says, she's in your class. <laughs> so, uh, what can I say? Just odd coincidences. You're 1,200 miles, we're both 1,200 miles from home. And there we are. Uh, Went to the same school, same time. I'm up at the ruins here, and I think it's time to take a look at some ruins. So one of the nice things here is they kind of let you walk around inside stuff. Look how small, I mean, this is crazy. Just how low this doorway is. Now let me show you. Yeah, 
This is me right here. Comes right up to my waist. Storeway. Crazy, isn't it? <laughs> totally bizarre. That, let's kind of go through. Oh yeah. Look, still has the wood up here on top. I think I'm gonna go through this. This is, oh man, I gotta get, I'm not going through it. I have to get on my knees. Whew. And then I have to come out, so. <sighs> can take a look here. Yeah, these rooms here now, I'm sure some of this earth has just been backfilled. These would have been dug out more. You can see that there were several rooms out in this area. Yeah, back to that doorway. Well, let's go around the south side here. Yeah, it's kind of cool to notice this wall is somewhat circular. So this may have been a kiva here. Although, like I said, they're usually dug down into the earth, but that could have been the case here. Interesting though. Do you have a sign coming up? All right, so hopefully you can see the sign. All right. Now it's interesting, if you look low here, you don't really see any doors to the room, but probably that was the way into this room. Now, whether it was a different kind of room, a storage room or whatever, I don't know. You can see the little windows over there. And actually, we look at the wall over here. I would say there's a possibility that this room might have been deeper and there might have been wood poles across here. This might have been the level of the roof because you could see them on both sides here and then also in the next one. So this might have been a deeper room. And in fact, you can see some wood traces there. I would bet that there's a good possibility that this was actually a two-story structure and these were dug out more and we're about, about my chest high is the roof line of the lower room. What did it look like? It says it had only one ground level entry leading in from the east side. So again, pause. No, oh, so I feel pretty smart. <laughs> I was, I was right that those indents in the wall were actually for uh, the first floor, which would have been below ground level from where we were. I guess after you've been looking at this stuff for forty some years, you get something right once in a while. <laughs> Not very often, but sometimes. <laughs> Boy, I don't know. I'm assuming we can go down in here. They do have a modern structure in here. Oh yeah, this is the way in, I think. Uh, during life, they sort of stay three feet away from metal structures. So yeah, it's okay to come in here. Look at these log beams here. I don't want to talk in so I don't think anyone else is in here, but okay. At least these doorways I can get through. Maybe it's that they're more shoulder heights and maybe they were dug out already. So you can see here this doorway, a little under my shoulder height, but a lot easier to get through than that one that I was looking at earlier, I'll tell you. So here we have a, one of the round kivas. So. 
and I apologize if uh, it's a little grainy, it is dark in here. Yeah. So. Now these sides are kind of interesting. Some of the kibas, and like I said, if we get to this one place, I'm, I'm hoping, I've told Carol I want to go. We'll see more like seating around the edges. So this is a small kiva. This would not be considered a grand kiva like the one outside. And we'll see, like I said, hopefully we go to the other place and you'll see another grand, grand kiva with quite a different style than the ones we've seen here. All right, so we head out again. And another sign, the last sign. these uh, painted kivas, if I remember, or if I can find it, I will post a photograph. It's in black and white that I had done in a kiva in New Mexico that had some uh, painted forms in it. Uh, it's really kind of cool. It was the Coronado National, might be a monument. Anyway, it's right outside of uh, Bernalillo, New Mexico. They don't allow you to photograph it anymore, which is kind of, you know, a lot of stuff now. There's so many restrictions. It's just kind of crazy about what you can and you can't do. And uh, we're actually probably going to head into Cortez. Uh, we had a bit of a situation with the back door of our, our camper. We don't know how it happened, but it mashed in part of it. So it's susceptible to getting rain inside. So I'm gonna go, I've kind of taped over it, but we're gonna go in and uh, I might get some other kind of tape that's uh, more waterproof, but we're gonna get some silicone and cover it and uh, at least patch it up till we get home and I can make some repairs. It should be easy to repair. So maybe we'll see you at camp or somewhere else, who knows? I mean, we don't know what we're doing now other than going to Cortez to get the silicone, so. All right.